Okay? So, first, we will talk about the historical development of, or the important historical development of firearms and its uh, parts, no? So, we have, of course, if we look into the historical usage of weapons, atong mapa na to, the first weapon, apart from the bows, arrows, and the swords, nagigamit to propel projectiles. No, to propel, para mo palupad o kanang bala, we could trace it back to the catapult or we call that one as balista. No, muna, if you ask now, kung say, asa nagika ng turn ng ballistics, <coughs> if you ask, asa nagika ng ballistics ng turn, no, it's actually coming from this one, kaning uh, equipment, kaning uh, weapon. No, so it is a mechanism for forcefully profiling stone spears or other projectiles no so usually balahan ni siya og stones dere and then ilan ni silang i-press and then pag release nila that's the time mo propel ang stone no so in use mainly as a military weapon they even uh, created a much larger uh, catapult no during the war na siligi kuan so used by Greeks and of course the Romans no <clears throat> So, a ballista to shoot arrows and darts as well as stones or hot enemy soldiers. Now, after apart from the ballista, no, we will trace back the origin of gunpowder. So, accordingly, it was the Chinese who invented the gunpowder. So, at least one years ago. No, but the intention of the creation of gunpowder, no, the intention of its creation, it's not actually for weapons use. Now, the primary intention is for fireworks display. So, it just so happened uh, accidentally in one of its fireworks display, there was a mistake that it causes destruction. So, they they observed that it could be used wala, as a weapon. No? But for books, especially mga Filipino authored books, no? they, they attributed the invention of gunpowder to Berthold Schwarz, a German monk and alchemist who probably, according to them, among others, discovered the gunpowder in 1313. And of course, from the English the monk, Roger Bacon, who was, according to the uh, one reference, no, also the pioneers in the making of gunpowder. No, so, kaning dua, kaning dua again. Berthold Schwarz, and Roger Bacon. So, nalay distinct, nalay kwa na niha, nalay, you might be kwa, nato yung T, ang uba na ni, na yung T in between R and Z. No, but this was taken from the Britannica Encyclopedia. So, that was the spelling provided. So, I just uh, copy it. <coughs> now, so, prior to the usage of, or prior to the inventions of the guns that we are currently using, around in 1449, there were already traces of the use of the so-called hand cannon, no? or it is commonly known as handgun before. No? Handgun in the sense that it is operated through, directly through the hand. No? If tanaw ni mo, ang iyahang mechanism is more, much more similar to a kanang gitawag na to, quitis. No? So it is uh, a mounted soldier with a such weapon resting on a port attached to the pommel of his saddle. So, it is lighted usually. It is lighted. Mura siya quitis good. Tanawa ni mo. So, the possibility of aiming a target is dili good na naka-accurate. No? And at the same time, as to the loading, as to the range of the firearm is not also that one strong. No? So, with regards to the usage of the firearms good, no? as it is now, in around 1364, there were already, according to the internet, there were already first recorded use of firearms. In 1380, handguns are known as across Europe. So meaning 1380, as early as 1380, there were already no, handguns used. No, so with regards to the the mechanism, no, we have of course the matchlock, the wheel lock, and the flintlock firearms. Ato tanaw na to. As to how this present present day firearms no evolved first in around 1400s the creation of the so called the matchlock no, matchlock in a sense that they are using match in order to light the propellant 
No? So, it was considered as the first major advance in pistols being fired in one hand and the, having the opportunity to aim at target. So, if you look at the picture, guys, no? if you look at the picture, na siya ipabilo. No? It is lighted using, of course, muli yung ito, ang gira sa una, dili sa yun. No? They would prepare ma uh, bet if they could use kwa na lang, kana mga bladed weapons rather than using kana gitaw guns because the the capacity sa ilang gun is much kwa ngayon, more than sa ilaha. Tagas pa kayong firearm, at the same time na pa sila, mag-aso-aso pa ka. So meaning, panahon sa ting ulan, walay gira, may tabo. Tinig ba sa ilang? No? Walay pusil, kaya yung mong pabilo, mapalong man. No? So, <coughs> so that is the kwa na to. No? So, of course, we also have this one. Oh, tanaw ni mo, this is the real gun. Ha? This is the actual gun. That is, of course, a burning wick. This is a flash pan cover. No? Then, the flash pan containing the propellant. Now, tanaw na to, wala pa mauso ang katong gitawag o percussion system. Later on, natong tanaw, kanus ah, o kinsa. No? Who is responsible for the development of the so-called percussion system? So, under the matchlock system, uh, it uses a slow-burning piece of cord. No? So, tanawin mo, pabilog yun siya. To ignite the priming charge. So, it was held in a curved hook screwed to the side of the frame to, the, to fire the gun. So, it was uh, merely pushed forward to drop. No? Simple lang ang mekanisya. Pagkablit, pa. No? So, as to how many times you're going to push it down, that's a problem. No? Okay, it is not a guarantee man na whenever the 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 kani siyang atong kwa na to, charge na to, will be ignited with a cord the moment you push it down. No? So, after the match lock system in 1517 is also the advent of the so-called the wheel lock which eliminated the use of a lighted match. Kani karong wheel lock system, guys, it already uses mora siyang puspuro ba? No? Nga, it will uh, it will uh, result to creation of kanagitaw na tog spark friction no so made firearms designed suitable for ambush as well as making the firearms a practical weapon for hunting so this uh, will lock uh, firearms was credited to Johann Kefos of Nuremberg Germany in 1517 no so if you look at the if you look at the design of that weapon before no tanaw na tong design sa weapons sa una kaning uh, wheel lock system no mo ina ang sistema nila no makayong ka nga kwan mura ra man ag concern mura ag dulaan no this is a 17th century wheel lock firearms no, used for hunting and na na sila gitaw og grenade launcher at that time no then of course after the wheel lock system nag evolve siya into a flint lock so ang flint lock na na siya mas clearer nga Panani. Actually, ang mechanism sa flint o sa wheel lock is almost similar. No? Nasha, it will cause spark. No? And then, the spark drops down to the pan. So, ignition system superheat, supersede that of the wheel lock. No? It's a simple mechanism which provides a spark by striking a piece of flint against a steel plate. No? So, basic nga kwa niya. Now, the flint was held in the jaws of, of a small vice and a five-booted arm called the cock. So, the, the, the cock term, no? cock the hammer originated sa flint lock system pa lang. No? So, in order to ready, yung muda lang i-cock siya daan, in order to ready it for firing. So, that is the flint lock system. No? See, these are the examples. Uh, what we have here, of course, is a short, small arm. No? And, of course, the, the mechanism involved in the plant lock ignition system so of course along with this development of firearms was also the development of the so-called rifflings I, I will not say the word uh kanang invented but development and innovations and most likely what happened no so the rifflings refers to the spiral grooves cut into the bore of a barrel which impart a stabilizing spin now, what is the purpose of the so-called drip lanes actually is to stabilize. No? It is to stabilize the movement of the bullet 
in its flight sa air. No? So, pagawas mong sa bala, guys, magtuyok na siya. No? It goes against the wind. No? So, the spin keeps the bullet travel in a straight direction and lessens the tendency from departing its line of flight. So, this, this uh, development could be attributed to Gaspard Kohlner, a gunmaker of Vienna in the 15th century. No? So, other fixed the date to 1520 and attributed to Augustus Cotter. So, there is really a question as to where, who exactly had created this one. But there were traces that the German weapons bearing both of the arms of the Emperor Maximilian I, which was made around 1450 to 15, uh, 1500s, nana nanay presence of the spiral groove barrels. In fact, if magtumuha ng mga old garrison, na mga old uh, military posts na ay mga display ng mga cannons if you touch the inside portion of the cannons na ay you could actually squint and observe kanang gitawag na to og mga spiral group na ay mini na ay replings no? that was I, I remember i went to a place in Osamis and then i i touched the inside of the cannons that was displayed in the kwanila no, na na and then that was that weapon could be traced back to 1600 or 1700 so it already has no the flings in it then of course the creation of the so-called kani this is now an invention so a weapon with a revolving cylinder containing a number of firing chambers now which may be successively lined up and discharged through a single barrel so we could attribute this to Samuel Colt. No, it's a other books pa. The first practical revolver. Now revolver in a sense that it is using a cylinder to rotate. No, containing the charge, the uh, loaded charge. No, that it rotates every time you pull the trigger. No, it introduced the first hinge frame point twenty two rim file revolver. Rim fire revolver. No, the patent for board, board through chambers and the use of metallic cartridges gave Smith and Wilson the market until 1869. Then, of course, with regards to the invention of self-loading pistols, according to history, it was believed to have existed since 1664. No, but of course, uh, do not expect it to be exactly the same mechanism that we have. It was uh, found in a report of the history of the Royal Society that a mechanic made or had made a claim of being able to make a pistol which could shoot as fast as presented and stop at will. No, that was in 1864. No, in 1893, Birchman produced a whole range of pistols, one of which the 1897 8mm simplex. So particular interest as the cartridge became the .32 automatic pistol cartridge. However, in 1896, the story of the truly successful self-loading pistols began with the introduction of the 7.63 mm caliber Moser, the broom handle made. No? So, tanaw na to, daghang claims. No? So, anyways. Then, of course, in 1807, so, tanaw ni the revolvers and the pistols was invented no? around the same year when the percussion system was also innovated. So the percussion system could be traced back to Alexander John Forsett. He is considered as the father of the percussion system. It was in 1887 no? when he revolutionized the ignition of gunpowder by using a highly sensitive compound which exploded by striking. No? So what happened was, no? Instead of katumago mga mga sundalo before, you could say soldiers because firearms were could be kwan good. At uh, atumagi mat connect sa soldiers before. Now, they were uh, bringing with them no, the gunpowder, the bullets, or the shots that they were carrying before. No, and then magsun magsansan to sila magsansan. No, nana, dili siya one. One is to sa pagkakaroon mang God, the four basic components, four is to one. Meaning, o sa kabala, it composed already all of the components. But before each of these four, you have to carry it. No? 
So be, with the with the percussion system, uh, with the with the advent of this percussion system, it may now possible to have a four is to one, meaning four components in one ammunition lang. So along with this is the development also of the pin, the rim, and the center fire ammunitions. No, having the so-called complete pack of uh, ammunition. So in 1851, no, actually the rim fire was uh, developed in 1847. Ang fin fire is in 1851. Pero akong giyuna ni, it's because this is one of the ammunitions. We will not talk about, basta mag-isgot ko ni Taguna ni guys, complete and fired am ammunition or cartridge. You are not going to uh, label this as bullet. But rather, you call this one as an ammunition or cartridge. No? Unfired ammunition. No? Pin fire was invented in 1851. It was introduced by Leif... Uh, I do not know how to read this proper. Leif Falshops in UK exhibition in 1851. The mechanism is very simple. No? See, this is the product already of the so-called percussion system. Na na siya dari ang iyang gitawag o primer. No, this is the primer cap. Nasa sulod ang primer cap. Pero na siya pin. No? So the primer cap is connected to a pin. No? Then of course you have here the powder charge and the bullet inside a shell. No? So this is exactly an example of it. No? Tanaw din mo, mura siya o mura martilyo. No? But of course for firearms nga, imong balahan ani. So, usa lang gyud siya. Kay imong man siyang pabarugon. No? So, it become obsolete it's because of the Kwan design. No? No? But before this one, na invention of the so-called rim fire. The rim fire cartridge is actually the priming mixture no? is located at the rim in this part here. So, it's na siya ka-araw diha. Diha ang giyatawag ng priming mixture. Remember guys, the three basic designs of ammunitions is actually it differs lang with the location of the priming mixture. Now in the rim fire, uh, in the pin fire, it uses a pin in order to trigger the primer or the priming mixture. In the rim fire naman, no? so it is in the rim where the priming mixture is located. No? But take note guys, with regards to the rim fire cartridges, it contain a thin walled cartridge with a hollow flung rim. Now, meaning, the portion here sa base niya, soft. Soft niya sa base. No? Okay. That is the design niya. No? The entirety of its base is soft. So meaning, if you are going to use rim fire cartridge or rim fire design to higher cartridge, higher caliber cartridge, dili siya pwede. Why? Soft man ang yahang world ray sa yang base. So it cannot be. No? Okay, instead ang bullet may mulupad sa tubangan, there's a possibility na the ray mo collapse. No? So which would result to an accident. No? So munang higher caliber, dili pwede ang kaning rim fire. So usually makita ni nato karon sa 22 caliber. No? Muna yung pinakaubos so far, 22, 0.22 caliber. No? Trivia lang, no? Trivia. Kabalo ba mo nga ang kanang .22 caliber has the same caliber with an M16 ammunition? No? Kanang gitawag na itong M16 ammunition is all with this military weapon, di ba? Muling kang M16 and the .22 caliber nga bala has the same diameter. Meaning, kanang imo ang M16 gigamit na o lahi lang nga measurement system. 0.22 caliber is equivalent to 5.56 millimeter. No? So, say, what's the difference between the two powder charge? No? And the design of the bullet. No? Kaya ang design sa imuhang M16 is purposely to penetrate deep. No? The powder charge is so uh, designed in order to gain for the, the bullet to gain enough energy as it penetrates the target. Pero pag-ingon na tong uh, measurement nila, pag-ingon sa caliber, di ba magamit mo mo caliper? Are you familiar with caliper? Di ba? Katong i-measure, wako na, na-amantang kung uh, 
no? So, the the measurement niya with regards to the diameter niya that is measured from end to end is similar. So, kanang 5.56 nga bala sa M16 has the same caliber with an M16 rifle. Copy? No, na try to kuha na na. No? Anyway, we have a comparison naman dari as to the difference of this one. No? So, in the rimfire truck cartridge, the crushing, the, uh, it crushes the rim with a firing pin which causes the primer compound to explode. No? So, once the priming compound ignited, it as well ignited the propellant. What's the other term for propellant? Gunpowder. It ignited the gunpowder. Yeah, the gunpowder is contained man in a in a container. No? As it burns, it generates energy. No? So the energy causes the gases to expand. No? Ang burning ko niya causes to expand, which propels this part kaning naka blue ring apart. This is the bullet, which causes the bullet to travel. No? So around 1860. No, is the uh, invention of the so-called center fire cartridge. Now, this center fire cartridge is actually the most used cartridge nowadays, especially for higher caliber. Now, if you look at the mechanism of the said uh, ammunition, no, same lang. Actually, it has four basic components, the propellant or the gunpowder, the cartridge case or the shell, the bullet, and of course, kanin pinaka-importante niya, is the primer or the framing mixture. No, the framing mixture actually is responsible for the burning of the gunpowder. No, siya mo responsible for the burning of the gunpowder which causes the bullet to propel. No? So that is, it is considered as for the center fire ammunition, it is considered as the great milestone in weapon and ammunition development. No, in this design, the primer cap is needed to be soft enough. So, in this part, it is only this part of the uh, ammunition is soft. Now, dili man siya, sir, is it uh, not a quite dangerous for this uh, part here to collapse? No. Because the the anvil design there, no, is actually, if you look at the, if you look at the shell, mas gamay ang ginamura, yung masudlan lagdago, mga iyahang kwa niya, ang point niya sa iyahang anvil. No, tanawan ni mo na siya. No, sa so dili kayo, ang iyang humok lang kanilang siyang apart. Humok siya na sa design nga whenever it is hit with a strike of a metal, mukuan siya. No? I remember day guys, kaning sa kaning 22 kaning rim fire cartridge ba. I have a classmate before, he's not a criminology of course. Ingon siya nako, how is it possible nga na among gigamit, gi-convert na mo ang kuan kaning air rifle kaning Sa tawagan ng air rifle kaning uh, di bomba, i-convert na mo og kaning rifle. Gibalahan na mo og 22. Kung naglibog daw sila, ngano nga nabuslot na lang dere, wala pagyapon mo buto. No, the, the explanation is very simple. Ang ilang mga god when they created, when they converted that firearm or to a loaded with the uh, 22 caliber, ang ilang design of the firing pin nila is directed to the center. And the problem is, while the firing pin is directed to the center, they are using a rim fire cartridge. So it is possible, it is impossible for this cartridge to explode, even if mabuslot pa nain siya, nabuslot na good ang dere sentro, wala gyapon mo buto. So I explained to him, no, that is correct. No, even if mabuslot ni because you are using a nail as your firing pin, it will not explode. Simply because the primer is cannot be located here. The primer is somewhere here. So it imurotong giisa gamay. It could have possibly no causes the bullet to fly. No, it could have possibly caused this ammunition to kwan explode. No, pero muna to. No, muna siya isang ako na to. The location of the priming mixture. No. So, personalities and innovations of firearms. We have, of course, Alexander John Forsett is considered as the father of percussion ignition. No? He successfully invented the priming mixture which caused the integration of 
the four in one composition of the ammunition. Then we have, of course, Calvin H. Goddard, the father of modern ballistics. Then we also have Horace Smith, founder of the Smith and Wilson, along with Daniel B. Wilson. John Browning, considered the wizard of modern firearms and finally the breech loading firearm. No? And of course, John Thompson, Thompson submachine gun, David Carbine William, maker of the first known carbine. Elisha King Root designed the machine for Colt making. John Wolf Marlin for the Marlin Firearms Company. P Peter Paul Mauser for the Mauser M1912 design. Uh, then, of course, Garan. John C. Garan. U.S. Rifle Caliber 30 M1 Garan. Hira Maxim, the first fully automatic machine gun. No? Ang ihang machine gun design is very much different from what we have now. Then, of course, Michael Kalashnikov, who designed the AK-47 no? Automat Kalashnikov 47, which was developed by Russian Army in the year 1951. And, of course, Major Oshel Gal, or the inventor of the so-called Uzi, no? uh, used by the Israeli Army no? or in the Israel. Uh, so, of course, branches of ballistics. Now, how many branches of ballistics you know? Pilaka branches. Normally, nasa libro, sir, upat. Sakto ko, no? Upat. O, oh, upat. Kaya nasa na, na, nasa libro ni Domingo del Rosario. Now, if you look at the, the mechanism sa firearm, there are only three. There are only three branches of ballistics. Because if you say branches, that's the mechanism. The other one is that is in as use in the legal, uh, in the administration of justice. That's, that is forensic ballistics. Okay, may yung forensic good. It is attributed to the examination result or the firearm examination as used in the legal system. Diba? So basically, there are three branches with regards to the mechanism. No? Tuluran na siya. No? Ato na istorya ng tulo later on. But before that, we have to define first kung saan yung gitawag o ballistics. Of course, it could be attributed to the Greek word balio or balien which means to throw or hurling a uh, uh, projectile. It's the science of mechanics that deals with the beh flight, behavior, and effects of projectile. Now, this is the other term for bullet, ha? Projectile. That is the other term for bullet. Now, forensic ballistics, as the, as the name implies, this is a branch of forensic science. No? So, katong mayuntang ballistics, it has something to do with the study on the mechanism of the bullet and its flight. Now, in forensic ballistics, guys, this is a branch of forensic science. So, it deals with the examination of the firearm and related evidence. Now, what are the evidence that we are talking here? Of course, normally, after you shoot, what is found lang physically is, of course, the bullet the shells. The bullet and the shells are actually the ones subjected to examination. Now, because with regards to the unburned particles or the unburned nitrates, that could be... Uh, in the field of forensic chemistry. Now, again, from the term, when you say ballistics, it has something to do with the science of the motion of projectiles. When you say motion, at Logonan, it has something to do with movement. No? Projectile refers to objects which is either metallic or non-metallic propelled from a weapon to cause destructive, destructive effect. Why I use non-metallic? Because in the previews, they're not using an all-metal uh, projectile. No? So forensic, it could derive, derive from the term no, forensis, no? meaning forum. Because normally before, for discussion no, in a market, Now in the, in the field of forensic ballistics, it is the examination of the result of the examination as it is communicated in the court proceeding. So, dito na siya sa court proceeding. Na? Now, what are the examinations involved in ballistics? Okay, first, type of firearm use. 
the first. So the firearm examiner will have to examine what is the type of firearm used in the crime. Now, identification of firearm. Now, individually, take note, individually, firearms could be identified now, as to the, uh, the bullet or the shells that is extracted from it. No? So, individual characteristics of the firearm could be actually traced by comparing with known origin. Now, take note guys, ha? if we talk about examination of firearms in ballistics, we are actually dealing with two things. The evidence which you are which you found at the crime scene, ang tawagan na nila is question specimen. No? So, kanang makita ni mo sa crime scene, panalitan, when you responded to a crime, no? or sa ato ka sa crime scene, makita ni mo dito, makakulay ka dito og shell, makakulay ka, maka-extract ka og bullet from the body of the victim, ang tawagan na nila, question na siya, specimen. No? Meaning, the known or the source is not known. No? The other one, the evidence which you collected from a known standard or a known origin, muna gitawag og standard. No? Standard specimen na siya. For instance, nakai-suspect. Okay? Nakai-suspect. Na, nakai-suspected firearm. So, katong suspected firearm, imutong kuha nung example ka rin, kuha ni mo og bullet specimen or kuha ni mong shell specimen, ang tawag atong imong gi-extract dito, standard specimen to siya. No? That, so, that will serve as your basis in comparing no? the identifying marks from that of the question specimen. Now, the range of firing. So, we're talking about the distance. Now, range for good. We're talking about the distance in which a particular firearm no? or the bullet of that firearm could reach. No, direction of firing so especially for cases of kanang gitawag na to ambush or kanang shootout incidents so you are going to trace no, the origin of the so called bullet no and its direction no identification of the shooter of course this could be done through of course the weapon no to the weapon so that is why you are going to examine the weapon no and examine the weapon of that suspect that you have. No? Okay. It is impossible. Ang kaning principle magunani sa atong gitawag na itong ballistics, it has actually the same principles with other forensic science na siya gitawag individuality. Now remember ha, with regards to characteristics of uh, forensic evidence, natay gitawag individual characteristics, natay gitawag class characteristics. So kaning individual characteristics, this could lead you to identify no, the very firearm used for the shooting. No, kaning class man God, this is common to a group. No, like for instance, kung yung caliber, so that is common, 9mm. Kani siyang range of firearms is 9mm. No, pero kaning individual characteristics, this could be identified through, of course, the impression no, imprinted by the firing pin on the uh, primer cap or on the rim of, in terms of the rim fire cartridges. No? Those are the one. No? Medical legal aspects in ballistics, of course, you could uh, you could identify whether this is suicide, homicide, or accident. So it could really help. No? So mina tong a suicide, meaning what is suicide? There is what we call an intentional. No? Intention on the part of a person to end the life or his life. No? So, under the revised penal code na to, kanang commit of suicide is not a crime. No? Pero katong tao nga mutabang sa usa ka amigo niya nga mag-commit of suicide, kana mo yun sala. Pero katong nagpakamatay, wala ito yung sala. Diba? So, what the the sign, what the kwan, or kwan na na, uh, sa government na to, kasayda na, tabangan na to ang nag-suicide. Pero katong ni assist Kaya yung amigo, may ngon ba yung magkikog ko ba? Yung asam ka magkikog? At tukos lawod, maglumos ko. Kuyugi ko ba? Makuyog sa ka, kay amigo man mo. No? So, kung ikaw nitabang, you could be responsible no? for assisting a person to commit suicide. Pero kato mismo ni suicide, dili to siya. No? So, ayaw yung magtabang amigo niyo mag-suicide. No? So, of course, that is what we call homicide cases. 
So homicide, there is again intention on the part pero to cause harm to another. No? To cause harm to another person. Not to himself. No? Kaya ang suicide is self-inflicted kung man to, harm. No? Accident naman, usually, it is the result of negligence. No? So it is usually a result of negligence on the part of the person who is supposed to take care of his firearm. No? So that is the one. Now, with regards to forensic ballistics, it involves the examination of evidence from firearms that may have been used in a crime. So remember, the bullets and the shell contains the so-called microscopic markings. Now, these microscopic markings are imprinted or left on the bullet and cartridge case as it is fired from a gun, which these marks are called as ballistics or ballistic fingerprint. Now, when you compare a bullet, no, two different bullet, and just you just use your eyes, it would be difficult for you to determine the kanagitaw na difference. Munang in one of the most important uh, equipment in uh, firearm examination is a bullet comparison microscope. No? Kaya sa bullet comparison microscope, you could magnify no? the minute details no? of the striations which is caused by ripplings. No? Or the case of bullet, and on the firing pin and the bridge face as caused by on the shell. So bullets and cartridge cases recovered from crime scene can be compared from the bullet and cartridge case fired from the suspect's gun. So until sa tawag ni mo itong sa suspect's gun nga na-obtain ni mo, those are the standard. Katong bullet and cartridge cases which you recovered from the crime scene, those are all considered as, guys, Sa tawag ito? Question specimen. Question specimen. No? So, muna siya. Ay, muna yung maikuan. Kaya pag-abot ni Muskorte later on, you're going to identify, no? Kung sa'yo mo ang basis for saying a kanil nana. So, which of which is the standard? Which of which is the question? Muna later on, as we go along our presentation, part of our talk is we'll, we're going to discuss also where to mark your initials on the bullet or cartridge case. No? Okay, if ever it goes to court, the court will ask you to identify with whether the items which the result is now being subjected to the proceeding is the very same items which you collected dito sa crime scene. No? Mau bagya po ni, mo nakitaan dito sa crime scene, kaya basi nailisan na ni. So if nailisan na, of course, it all, it affected the integrity of the evidence. Diba? So if the integrity of the evidence is questioned, so, there is a big possibility that that evidence could not be accepted. Diba? Nga di na siya madawat. Now, basic types of ballistics. These are the branches which we talk about. First, of course, kani, the internal ballistics. This is actually the occurrence. No? Gikan dari hatig, no tani. The moment the bullet is extracted from the magazine, it is feed into the bridge. No? The bridge or the barrel, as you call it, no? the moment nga muig mo, sugod na ganig tira ang kanig gitawag na to, firing pin hits the, the primer, no? that is start of the internal ballistics. And then, until such time that the bullet travels out from the shell into the barrel before it left the muscle point. This is the muscle point. No? Kaning nahitabudri, all the mechanisms inside this is part internal ballistic. No, it is called as internal ballistics. No? So internal ballistics refers to the study which deals with the motion of the projectile while it is still inside the firearm, which extends from the breech to the muscle end or the muscle point. No? It can be attributed to the firing pin hitting the primer which involves the hitting of the firing pin on the primer cap of the cartridge case where the priming mixture is quad. So, nadi may tabu guys. Now, the moment the firing pin hits the primer cap, it causes an ignition. Now, kaning ignition, this will cause the burning of the gunpowder now, which then generates pressure in order to release the bullet from the shell. 
Na? Then, of course, the ignition of the priming mixture. Ganong mo, ignite man siya. Because the priming mixture is a very sensitive material. Highly sensitive material na siya. No? It is, uh, that is the product of the so-called percussion system. No? Katong percussion system na gingo ni Alexander John Porset, that is the priming mixture that we refer about. So as a result of the striking of the firing pin, the priming mixture, which is a highly sensitive material, ignited, which will then ignite the gunpowder as well. No? So what will happen after the priming mixture ignited? It will burn the gunpowder. That is the combustion of the gunpowder. So when the priming mixture is heated, it is imparted on the gunpowder by passing through the vent or flash. No? So we will talk about the different designs of later on. We will talk about the different designs of the primer. No, na po na designs ang primer, guys. Gamay kayo na siya. Tanawin mo sa bala. Gamay ra kayo. Pero it has design of its own. No? So, the flash hole which would cause the gunpowder to burn. No? Then, of course, as the gunpowder burns, it generated heat. No? So, heated gas. The burning of the gunpowder causes heated gases to spread and fill the container. Now, as a result of it, it generates pressure. No? Mo-develop ang pressure. The pressure will now become an energy. No? So, heated gas can find the container. Pressure is developed, which would cause the projectile to be forced out of the cartridge case. No? So, the energy that is generated, this will actually help no? the bullet from expelling out of the shell. No? So, what is that recoil of the gun? Now, if you are using, kapabuto naman mo tanan, I presume, no? okay, fortune yeah, naman mo, no? If you are using ana, o kanang gani mo, kanang impact kani nga ana lang. No, mura siya ana. No, if, if you are using that quad, kanang pagkablit nimo nga murag mo aksyog ana ang imong quad nimo, that is what you call as recoil. No, pag pagkablit mo pa, ana. So the higher the caliber, mas pas mas kusog ang recoil niya. Di ba? Magpabuto ka 45 boom, ana siya, ana. No, especially if you just Use that ko ni mo. Kanalan, that is the first time that you use that one. No, ana ni mo. That is the coil of the gun. No? So, muna siya yung gitawag o uh, the equal opposite reaction of the gun against the forward movement of the bullet upon explosion. No? Then, of course, there is what we call velocity. Sa muna gitawag velocity of the bullet inside the barrel. Sa muna velocity. It has something to do with speed. No? Velocity has something to do with the speed of the bullet no? per unit of time while still inside the barrel. No? So, at which it travels out of the gun muscle. Muna ang kita o velocity. Speed na siya. It refers to speed. So, rotation of the bullet inside the barrel. No? As, I, as I have said, the moment the, the bullet left no? from the muscle uh, from the shell, ang iyahang kwa niya is anak. Tuyok na siya, gatuyok. No? Ang iyahang movement niya inside. As as it travels, no, the barrel, it rotates. No? Nag-rotate na siya. No? So, this involves twisting effect of the bullet caused by the cylindrical groove portion of the barrel. So, what is the importance of this so-called twisting? No? Is It helps the bullet no, mas stable siya as it travels out. No? As it travels out, especially in air, stable siya. No? Dili siya nga mo drop down automatically. Kaya nagtuyok man siya against the wind. No? So, it will improve the travel or stability of the bullet in a straight path. Now, take note guys, as the bullet travels inside the barrel, no, it comes in contact with the kinsaman, katong riflings. No? The cylindrical surface of the bullet. Now, as it comes in contact with the cylindrical surface of the bullet, it is imprinted with the markings of the riflings. So, the marking of impression of the bullet as it passes through the cylindrical groove portion of the barrel of rifled firearm no, would cause the imprinted or impression, impression of the individual markings of the firearm. 
So muna na karon pag igo dito makita ni mo na mga markings. So you could see the, what is the most visible there is the lands. No? Muna makita ni mo lands and of course other striations caused by or that is present inside the barrel. Do you have questions? Nang may pangutan na guys? Sir, wala sir. O, oh, nalipong mo. Mo dito? Nasa sunod pa lang to ha. Internal pa to. Internal ballistics. I know it was discussed to you clearly. No? Na-discuss na sa inyo ha. Pero by reason of the time ninyo, nga murag, murag dugay-dugay naman tong panahon. Murag second year pagod mo ato. Naabtan pa mo pandemya. Di ba? So, murag nakuha na. Pero ato lang i-remind na itong kaugalingon na muna ni Diyan siya. Okay? Reminder lang man guni kay you have taken this up already. The next is, kanin gitawag na ito external ballistics. Now, the, the moment the bullet leaves out of the muscle point, no, pag gawas ka na niya sa sumbuhan, sa tubangan, that is, that is the start also of the so-called external ballistics. No? So, external ballistics is the study of the projectile's flight from the time when it leaves the muscle until it strikes the target. No? Muna yung itawag o external ballistics. Now, if you observe, kaning nasa drawing three, guys, no? nagtuyok siya, oh. tanawin mo, nagtuyok siya. It goes against the wind. No? Muna kinalan siya, stabilize niya through the rotation inside para pag maka-counter siya with the wind. No, kana mangong of course natay gitaw og molecular structure sa atong atmosphere. Muna siya mo hold, mura na siya og mura na siya mo hold back sa ato ang bullet. No? Now, what are the things that could possibly be uh, seen with regards to the external ballistics sa may mga possible? So these are the factors that affects the bullet and flight or the external ballistics. First, there is what we call muscle blast. No? When you say muscle blast, we actually refer to the noise created at the muscle point of the barrel brought about by the chemical reaction. No? So, it, it is actually not too visible during the daytime if you ka, but this is very much visible during the night time. No? Okay, although you can have smokeless powder, man, sir, yes, but still smokeless powder, it generated heat it generated flame. Less of smoke, but it generated flame. No? That is very much visible. Lighter in colors, yeah, as compared to that of the black powder. No? Then we also have the so-called muscle energy. So the muscle energy refers to the energy generated at the muscle point measured in foot pound. So attributed to the hot gases liberating at the muscle point. No? So, muscle energy is the potential work energy possessed by projectile as it exceeds the point. No? So, trajectory. So, when you say trajectory, guys, take note, ha? Whenever you shoot something, dili na siya straight path. No? Dili na straight path ang travel niya na. It is not straight path as you think it is. No? Pag side niya mo pa, no? Ang imong gikuan, labi na mag-call mag ka, piyong-piyong pa yung mata ko sa. So, ay na, piyong ng mata. Try to be familiar lang asa yung mong dominant eye. No? It is not a straight path, but rather it travels in a curved path. Nani ang iyang kwaniya. From the muscle of the gun, it travels in a curved path. No? Ang tawag na niya, trajectory. No? That is the actual curved path of the bullet during its flight from the gun muscle to the target. No? So, that is the kwaniya. So, another thing is the range. When you say range, we are actually referring to the distance sa gilay on nga maabot the straight distance between the muscle end and the target now we have if we talk about range na tagitawag effective range or in some book kitawag ning accurate range then we have also maximum range now when you say effective range this is the distance with in which the shooter has the control over his shots like for instance ogit git Imong gipunteri ang ulo, igo gid ang ulo. No, meaning kay masulod man siya sa e, sa distance niya nga ug unsay imong gisayt mo may go. No? Pero when you say maximum range, maabot sa maabot ang bala. No? Because accordingly that is the farthest distance that a projectile can be propelled from the firearm. 
maabot ang bala pero you cannot guarantee no you cannot guarantee speed you cannot guarantee power no kay nga naman there are possibilities nga may sus gahi anak oy nga naman naposilan ko no pag abot sa bala sa kuha igo man itapot no possibly no wala na to siya enough power to penetrate in the target as you no so wala na to siya enough kay possibly naabot ka sa maximum range kay mura to point nga maigo kay kun maganis lawas dili makalusot no because it has achieved already the maximum range no velocity in the external ballistics are uh, saying it is something to do with the speed of the bullet during its flight remember guys ang kaning flight of the bullet no ang imong makompare lang ana is just a blink of an eye Kamantay mo, kanang magpabuto mo. No, pagpabuto ni mo, ana pa ka, the side side sa niya, pagkablid din, ipiyong di mata. Igo, wala ko igo, nga naman, wala ka kita. Diba? No, pag buka sa imong mata, wala na. Wala pa kayo na igo, no? wala pa kakabawa sa paingo ni mong bala. No? The, the travel, the velocity of the bullet is could be compared to the blink of an eye. No, ana lang. Kuan lang kagamay, kipat lang kagamay, wala na. Wala nang bala. No? Di na magpaabot ang bala ni mo. No? Then of course, kaya nagitawag na to o pull of gravity. No? The pull of gravity has something to do with the downward reaction of the bullet towards the ground. So ano na siya? Ang ihang travel niya. Of course, we have the air resistance. No? As it travels, no? ang hangin, iyang kontra. No? Ugaan pa na yung bullet, there is a possibility mapalid na. No? But the speed in here, and of course the rotation will conquer the air resistance. No? Encountered by the bullet while in flight. No? And of course, this is the third types of, or this is the third branch of ballistics. We have the so-called terminal. So from the term itself, terminal ballistics, it deals with the behavior of the missile upon hitting the target so the bullet upon hitting the target is affected by these things first accuracy now the size of the projectile grouping on the target that is terminal accuracy no enough ba siya nga mo kuan sa imong target or the so called energy no or force of the projectile when it strikes the target basin abot na sa iyang gitawag og maximum range so wala na siya enough force or energy to penetrate no so the speed of the projectile upon striking the target is also one of the things that we consider no mo nang mo kwan ka mo nang kanang mga for instance kanang mga shooter if ang imong target is nani familiar ka sa imong firearm akong firearm is kwan lang ni ang, ang kwan na ni effective range ani is 20 meters ayo naglampas og 20 meters ya kinalaman ka mo tagog 50 meters kay para di ka hikita di ka kung kakapatay di ba Diga kung kakaigo. So, kinalan, familiar ka sa imong firearm. Akong firearm, effective range niya is 20 meters. Or, 10 meters. Igo, gini. Sa, kung ano gini, ma-champurado gini gawa sa ni. So, within that range lang ka. Di ka pwede magpalayo o mayo. So, terminal penetration is, is the depth, deep of the projectile entry upon striking the target which is of course affected by the velocity the energy and the accuracy okay na muna ang bullet impact no? as it strike no? kayo panalitan na di lang na maximum range possibly nga di na mulahos no or possibly may yung luban ay kuhan yun ka ng kubla ng lawas kay dili wadutli no Possibly lang na abot lang ka sa range nga dito lang yung kutob ang bala. No? So, the other part sa ballistics is kanagitaw na itong forensic ballistics. Now, ang forensic ballistics, as used ni siya, no? as used in the administration of justice. So, it is composed of three stages. The first stage is the so-called field investigation. So, ang sama nang gitawag o field investigation, so, this is the work performed by the first officer of the case. Okay? The first, the work performed by the first officer of the case in the field. So, on sa manaya ha, kanang collection, marking, preservation, packing, and transmittal of evidence. 
So what are the evidence usually which involves ballistic evidence? No? Please lang ha, ayaw mo gingon nga. Ballistic evidence dong, sa may example, I speak, sir. Sakto ba? I speak daw? No, I have a student before. Wa siya sulod-sulod sa kuha ko. Kasi nga nando, di yung kakapasan na ko. Ewa kay sulod-sulod. Kabaw lagi ko subject ni mo, sir. Nagtuon ko. Okay, sige. I will give you uh, questions. If you could answer my questions, I will give you a passing grade. Okay? First question. Give me an example of a ballistic evidence. Dako kay niya gingon, I speak. And kung na ako rason, I have all the reasons in earth to fail you. Ano man, I speak, ballistic evidence. Diba? Ballistic evidence refers to firearms, bullets, shells. Diba? Muna siya. Related muna sa firearm. Now, I speak is never. Uh, never na nahi mong related. Uh, dili na shooting incident, stabbing incident. No? So, again, so, this is a very important, guys, kaning field investigation, this is a very important drone. Why? No? In the collection and kanagitaw na itong identification of those items which requires to be collected, you really have to know the basic. No? Because you know, for instance, if maka-obtain ka o maka-obtain ka o kanagitawag na itong evidence like firearms, remember, it is not only firearms that you observe. No? But possibly, you have also observed a piece of something coming from the suspect in itself. No? Possibilities of obtaining a fingerprint from the firearm. No? So meaning, you have to observe the proper way of collecting it. No? You have to observe the proper way of extracting the needed things no? from the or the needed evidence from that piece of evidence. No? Then of course, the second part is the technical examination. Now, if you say technical examination, it involves the actual examination performed by the firearms examiner, which involves identification, comparison, analysis of evidence. Now, remember, guys, in the in the forensic in forensic science, forensic science are not only ballistics. No, the scientist or forensic scientist observes this one. No, na siya muna yung ginagamit usually. Ace B methodology. No? This is especially in the examination no? examination of evidence. They're observing ACE-B methodology. ACE-B which stands for analysis, comparison, evaluation, and verification no? of those things which they observe. No? Mura maguna, ang kanamagong kaning forensic science mga, it really needs a critical analysis on the part of the kanang gitawag na to o firearm examiner. No? So, included in the technical examination is the step in the preparation of comparative charts no? and reports of their findings and observation for court presentation. No? Because later on, after the technical examination, you will be called to court to testify. So, at to sa court ka ron, as a, uh, as a expert witness, no? Remember, ang expert witness, more than isla yung mga klase sa witness, in which case, they could testify even to those things which, even if they have not seen the actual commission of crime. Tama ba, no? Expert witness. No? They could testify even if they have not witnessed the actual commission of crime. Because normally, pag yun natong ordinary witness, they have to have at least, no? To testify based on the observation of their senses, di ba? Nakakita ba sila, nakasimhot, nakadapat, nakabate, o na na. No? Nakadungog. So, na sila. Ordinary witness na. But for expert witness, he is allowed to testify even if he is not around sa crime scene. No? Why? Because he is going to testify only on the things which resulted from his examination. So, like for instance, mag-examine siya o sa kapatay. No, a doctor, mag-examine patay. So, dili na siya kinilang nga na dito pagpatay. Because the moment the body is brought to his office, is brought to his clinic niya, he will just examine it and then, based on it, he will testify in court as to what wounds is around or is present or what possibly have causes no, the demise of a person, ang pagkamatay sa tao. 
No, same with the firearm examiner. No, wala siya dito during the shooting incident. But he will testify in court based on the result of his examination. Na kaninga bala o kaninga bala, no? It could have come. It could have come from the same weapon. Why? Because of the stations, it contains similar stations. No, naigitawag na to o similarities of the markings around. No, unana siya, unana ang expert witness. Same with fingerprint examiner. He could testify on things even if wala siya dito pagsulod sa sa usaka suspect. No, but based on the evidence that is presented to him, and if he examine it, na nakuha niya ang unana, then he could testify. No, so that is the good thing with being an expert with test. Now, when he is now in the court, no, this involves the actual presentation of the findings. Muna ng in the examination, yah, he will be preparing charts. No, kana gitaw niya comparison charts because usually the court will ask, "What is your basis? How did you say that it is the one? What is your basis, niya na?" No, he will help to show to the court. These are the basis. These are the findings of my report. It found out. No, nani, no, nani. No, the stations coming from this standard and the question and the standard has similarities. No, so he will now testify in court. So actual presentation of the findings and observation of the firearm examiner to the court proceeding as evidence. So take note. It is also in this stage. Where the qualification and competency of the firearm examiner as an expert witness is determined and tested. Remember, guys, ha? If we talk about kanang gitaw ng forensic science, it is not you who will qualify yourself as an expert witness. Dili kay mo ingon ng expert witness ko, but rather isa may mo ingon. It is the court. Ang korte mo mo ingon after examining all your qualifications. So, may ng court, okay, you may proceed. Okay? You are merely meaning you are already qualified at the court. Ma? So, what is firearms? We will now proceed with the second part. What is firearms? So, we already have defined it kaganiha based on the definition of 1866. PT 1866. Firearms, according to its definition, these are made any instrument which is designed or adapted to discharge a projectile or hurl a projectile with the help of a force of expanded gases of main charge or kanang gitawag na itong propellant. Kanang imong tirador, dili na siya makonsider as a firearm. No? It could be smooth bore or rifled bore or it could be manual, semi-automatic, automatic or it could be handguns, shoulder guns or pwede siya artillery. No? So that is what we call fire excuse, ha? Now, as provided on the Republic of 10591, 10591, guys, this is, di yun sa ganini siya? This is the Republic of 10591. Comprehensive firearms law mana sya? Mana sya? So this is the latest law with regards to firearms. Nah, according to its definition, firearms now refers to any handheld or portable weapon, whether a small arm or light weapon, that expels or is designed to expel a bullet, shot, slugs, missile, or any projectile which is discharged, nah, by means of expansive force of gases from burning gunpowder or other forms of combustion or any similar instrument or implement. Now, if you look at it, this is similar to the definition as provided under Section 877. Diba? Katong Revised Administrative Code. No? Similar lang siya. No? Dito lang sa Section 877, yan lang ispecify dito katong rifle, musket, Shotguns, ano, gispecify lang niya. But under the current definition, this is defined in the general perspective. 
Unheld portable weapon, small or light weapon that expel or is designed to expel bullet, shot, slug, missile, or any projectile. Discharge by means of expanded uh, force of gases from burning gun powder or any similar instrument. So, general ang iyang pagkakwan. No? So, what are the classification of types of firearms? Or the classification of firearms? So, general firearms are classified as follows. Handguns, no, long guns, and larger guns. So, in the ikwan, na na siya gitawag small arms and katong gitawag na itong artillery. No? Small arms refers to kane, handguns, no, rifles, pistols, no? uh, sa pa? Mora na siya, submachine guns, those are actually considered as small, small arms. So, handguns are firearms designed to be held and operation, operated or fired with the use of one hand, handgun. Now, revolver, pistol, semi-automatic handguns, or something semi-automatic, katuning mga Uzi, it falls within that category, or machine pistols. No? So, basic types of handguns, single shot, revolving, and self-loading. No? So, when you say single shot, generally, it is designed to fire single shot. No? One shot, pa! Na. Load shot again, one shot. No? So, when you say revolving pistol or revolver, the ammunition is held in a cylinder. So, naa siya yung itawag cylinder. Naa siya yung sa itawag na sa itawag na bisaya ganin ng cylinder. O dibula. No? Yung nila, dibula. No? At the rear of the barrel with each round having its own chamber. No? Self-loading naman, as what is shown here, kung ay itawag self-loading. This is a good example of self-loading. Automatic. No? Automatic pistol na siya. This type of weapon domination is contained in a removable spring-loaded magazine house within the grip frame. So, after shooting pa, load siya i-automatic. Shooting pa, load siya automatic. Ma? Muna gitawag self-loading pistol. No? Long guns, also known as shoulder arms or show uh, shoulder arms or shoulder guns. This type of firearm is usually fired with two hands in a stable position like rifles and shotguns. So when you say rifles, we're referring to a gun designed to be fired from the shoulder. No? Shoulder level having a long spirally groove barrel intended to make a bullet spin and thereby having greater accuracy over a long distance. Shotgun naman, Smooth bore. This is based on the definition, guys. Ha? Kainahan mo yung shotgun good nga kuhan ka ron. Kainahan ko sa ito. Wag ganit. Nai-rifle na ba? Rifling shotguns good. No? Na na. But based on the definition, shotguns are smooth bore design gun. Meaning, wala yung rifling sa sulod. To be fired. Or to be fired small shot at short range. It uses a small round of pellets called shots or single projectile called slugs. And the barrel is smooth. Now, sir, what will make the shotgun kanang kwa niya, shots niya, effective? Sa shotgun, ang gibuhat nila is choke. No? Choking ang sa shotgun. No? Dili siya rifling. Although na ay shotguns nga na ay riflings. Kanang Benelli shotguns na na doon ay riflings. Ang sa shotgun, constriction. So, ang may tabo sa shotgun is unani. Na siya ay constriction. If this is the barrel sa shotgun, pag-abot din ka pa naman sa fire hose, nga ni gamay, na portion din nga gikonstrict. No? Mura siya gikuan ba? Gikan sa taas niya, ni constrict siya. No? Una na ang sa shotgun. No? Ang, ter ang term na is constriction or choke or choking. No? C-H-O-K-I-N-G Choking. No? Constriction of the muscle end of the barrel. That is for shotgun. So, ang, ang, ang kuha na ng shotgun, magka ng constriction mang god, ang the more siya constricted, the more nga ang iyahang bala is concentrated. Dili kayo mo, anak. Diba? Normally, anak. Diba? So, i-constrict na ni mo, i-constrict ni mo siya, magkagamay ang iyang gawsanan, ang iyang bala po, mas, mas kuhan siya. Mas concentrated ang iyahang delivery. No? That is for the shotgun. Okay? Then, of course, Larger guns. So we have, of course, artillery. 
Now, these are weapon designed to be mounted on vehicles, tanks, ships, and aircrafts. So, guns with caliber higher than 50 are classified as cannon. Now, the artillery term according to caliber of ammunition being part of them is that firearm that propels no, projectile with more than 1 inch in diameter. Artillery ang kuwana na. No? Artillery. No? Then, according to the mechanism and char or characteristics of their actions. So, natay gitawag single action. Natay gitawag og double action. Okay. Kusama na yung single action. Revolver. Kusama na siya. How will you classify? Single, double action. Revolver. Double. 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 Yes, double. Kaya pag kablit mo, mukha ko siya, ba? Bang. How about pistol? Kak ni mo. Kak mo na ni Udan, ba? Pag, ana. Automatic na siya. Nakaredy. Puk mo na siya. Gitawag single action. No, skip kwan lang the moment you pull the trigger, it kwan da yon. Diba ikak man mo daan siya. Then afterwards, ready for kwan na siya. Ha? Huh? So, single action, the mechanism by which the trigger functions solely to cause the hammer to strike the ammunition. So, double. This refers to the mechanism by which the trigger also cocks pag kwan ni mo, cock man, pop. No? Strike ang hammer. No? So, usually, bolt, pump lever, semi-automatic and automatic rifles and handguns. Oh. For with regards to the barrel construction, now with regards to the barrel construction, we have of course, natin gitawag, as I have said, smooth bore and rifle bore. So from the term smooth, no rifflings, meaning no lands and grooves inside their gun barrel. So this is usually available, shotguns, Muskets, o ka ng sumpak ninyo. No? Diba? Ka ng sumpak. Are you familiar with sumpak ba? Yes, familiar sir. Mo sa, oh, ka na bang gibuhat, gibuhat lang. Diba? Pumigyan. Pumigyan. Oh. Pumigyan ni mo. Kuwara ka stubo dito. Butikta ni mo guma. Kaya para dili daw init. Balahan ni mo shotgun. Wildi nga na gamay dito sulod. Buta nga gamay ng lansang. Testing na lang yun. Oh. Delikado na. I tell you, delikado na. No? Siguro, it could fire only two to pila ka ammunition, pero it will not last long. No? Okay, remember, ang kanang imuhang gigamit nga metal is not really intended for that. Di ba? Di ma siya intended to fire unana nga or to, for use unana nga klase sa gamit. No? Remember, in the kanang gitawag na to, in the barrel making, no? Dili na siya tubo. But rather it is made up of solid metal. Solid ng metal. Gidrill na siya intentionally. No? Solid metal. Gidrill intentionally to make a barrel. Nang imuha tubo. Diba? Ang tubo ay mong gigamit. So, basically it is not really intended for that purpose. No? Dili lang na kung na nga purpose ang iyan. Kung ano No? So, as much as possible, digil ka mo gamit na na. Madisclass siya ka na madugay. No? Then, we have also rifle bore. So, from the term rifle bore, na siya gitaw grifflings. Meaning, there is a presence of lands and grooves inside the barrel. No? So, muning lands and grooves niya, the moment you fire the gun, it helps to stabilize the bullet as it travels the air. No? So, kanang mga paltik uban wala nay wala nay rifflings. Kamantay mo anang ubang paltik, wala nay rifflings. Munang pagpusili mo pa, hinay man ang bala, same imong gibala. Pero ang power is lahi ra gyud. Di ba? naman, there are mga paltik nga gigamit nila by reason siguro sa ilang equipment. Ka wala sila equipment to cause the rifflings, no? To make the rifflings. So, ang tendency dili siya kwa na no rifflings. Sa so, smooth bore, pag buto pa, remember, what's the use of the rifflings? To stabilize the bullet in its travel. So, wala yung rifflings yung muha, although you are using, no, you are using 9mm or 38 caliber ammunition, ang effect niya is different. No, lahi ang yan effect sa katong rifle bore. 
nga firearm or oh yes, rifle bore firearms. Na? Then of course, kini barrel. The barrel construction plays a crucial role on how a bullet emerges from a weapon. So the longer ingon pa, the longer the barrel imparts greater accuracy. So munang for uh, high powered firearms, usually uh, rifles, it has longer barrel. Now, the features provided during the manufacture of the bar constitute an important in the work of the firearm examiner associating fired ammunition using the gun. So this is a good example ng gihiwa ni nga barrel. No? That is a good example of a barrel. No? Gikuan siya purposely. Muna yung, if mong i-open sa sulod, mao na ang iyahang constitution sa sulod. No? That is what a barrel looks like inside. No? So na siya ay cylindrical grooves. No? Kaning, kaning siya, kaning kaning makita ni mong ni, ni kanang ni elevated part ang muna siya gitawag og lens kaning depressed parts muna ang iyang gitawag og grooves once it is transferred dito sa bullet ya miagi sa iya ha kanang lens nga elevated nga part that becomes the depressed portion no ug sa bala na ha ug sa nasa sulod sa barrel it is the elevated part pero once it is transferred dito sa bullet it becomes the depressed portion ang groove na po dito ang finish ang um, elevated portion gamay no kay mo ni ang kanimang lens niya mo mo cause og marking sa iya so rifles are designed to help rotate the projectile as it is expelled from a weapon so which then helps a straighter trajectory No? So, rifling designs could be a series of helical lens and grooves down their barrels like seam on the tube of crescent rolls. So, lens are elevated portion of barrel between two grooves. Pero, take note ha, ang rifflings nowadays is not only a creation of lens and grooves. Nanay mga octagonal nga design. No? Kanang Jericho 9mm, that is octagon, ang iyang design. No? So, The diameter of the barrel which is measured across opposite lens to lens to lens no kaning lens to lens no that is called as the caliber niya kanidere and then kanidere the measure na nimo using a caliper no using a caliper that is the so called the caliber of the weapon you get me so yes sir namoy pangutana namoy pangutana Na sa na na sige sige. Na nang concerning na nang ang ang barrel itself sir consider na siya as a weapon. Okay, una ni mong good. Kanang sumpak for instance. Is it composed of na other parts of the gun? Is it composed of other parts of a gun or barrel lang na siya? Barrel, the barrel, sir. Barrel lang. But it can be used to kill. Sakto, di ba? Manani, mga good. Ang, barrel, yes, oh, although that is only part of the coin, ha? pero ang barrel, mga good, that constitutes the firearm in itself. <laughs> the barrel constitutes the firearm in itself. Oh, it is the barrel that propels, that helps the the bullet propels. Di ba? And when you can, mga good guys, manani, mag, mag, kuhan mag firearm later on, No, niya magilis kag barrel. Imog yun ako kay each of the barrel is has serial number. No? Ang barrel mismo has its own number ko niya. No? So, that is the most important part of the gun. No? That is the most important part of the gun. No? And that is and, and and besides it is defined by law. Na ingon ang balaod nga the barrel is considered a complete firearm. No? Because they probably have observed the importance of it no sa firing no without the barrel man god the firearm is kwani eh. no mo na siya i murag pinaka bukog sa imong firearm ang barrel nimo kanang barrel nimo mo na i pinaka unod pinaka bukog sa imong firearm kasabot so yes sir thank you mo na siya eh, kanang mo na ito kana sumpak mag carry kag sumpak niya mga kadili man ikumpleto nga firearm sir o kana makonstitute na illegal position of firearm 
Okay, because barrel naman niya, sir. Okay, yung mo mag-ibutang mechanism to, uh, to make it as if it is a barrel, di ba? Yung mo mag-ibutang nga no firing pin, ano? No? So, in itself, imagine, no, wala na nga provision sa balaod. Just imagine na, wala na nga provision sa balaod. Do you think you could go after people who are carrying sumpak? Dili. No? Okay, wala, 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 oh, wala, di man siya mahulog dito as pistol. Di siya mahulog pistol. Di siya mahulog o kwan, revolver. Di siya mahulog as shotgun. Di siya mahulog as kwan. Pero with that provision of the law, even to those people na nag-possession of sumpa, pwede ni mo makuan siya. No? And besides, that is the, really the importance of the barrel. No? It is the very, uh, muna kita natin, the main mechanism of what firearms could do. No? Muna siya. It is the main mechanism of what a firearms could do. No? Muna ang ikaw, na kay sumpa, ay muna nila na, i-wilding nila na dia sa inyo hangkuan, bumba. Muna nila na sumpay sa bum, handle sa bumba. Kaya lisod na, makauna-huna niya kag dautan. Di ba, muna na, di ba? Na kay firearm, makauna-huna kag dautan. Yan yung silingan, dautan sa gnaong, awa na. Kompleto ng elemento. No? Makalagot kayong silingan, kaya makapuan ka. Wala na, na kay sumpa. No? Wala ba yan? Lihin siya yung sumpa. No? But we have to be very careful on that. No, we have to be very careful. And that is defined by law, ha? That defined na siya sa law. Okay? So, rifles. Rifle actions can be very roughly grouped into single shot, bolt action, self-loading, and pump action. Kaning gitaw na tug bolt action if naa mo di bomba di sa inyo ha. No, kanan di bomba nga pusil. No, you are probably familiar on sa itsura ning bolt action. Di ba kaning di bomba usually bolt action man siya. Bolt tight man siya nga binakay birahon. So dili ni mo bala imo ihansak balik, di ba? Oh, mo yes, bolt action. Pero ang kwan lang sa di bomba, ang imo kwan air rifle. Ang kwan niya is dili siya gun uh, powder kwan siya, propelled firearm no so but that is the mechanism simple same mechanism lang no? same mechanism ang imo lang gigamit is hangin no hangin lang gigamit nimo sa dibumba no kanang sa rifle or kanang sa bolt action type nga rifle it is not using air as required but rather it is using gun powder no so we have of course single shot no A weapon design where the barrel can be hinged to the frame allowing the barrel to be dropped down for loading and unloading. Or can have some form of breech block which either swings out, pulls back, or slides down to expose the breech end. So, dagan siya klase. Mga tagsay bala ni. Ah, kumag shot, load balik, shot. No? So, these are examples of single shot rifles. No? No? Usually for hunting, no. The bolt action, okay. So na siya bolt. No, mura yun tanaw ni mo. Di bumba man sir. Oh, di bumba ang design tanaw ni mo, no. Pero ang iyang bridge loading man yun na niyon. Usually bridge loading. Kani siya pag birah ni mo, sulod ni mo ang balad niya, no. Ang iyang rim, usually ang rim niya, mo yung musangit sa bridge, no. So after pagkuha ni mo, remove ka sa balad, taon sa gah. No? Ano ang iyang mechanism? No? So, bolt action weapons, these are weapon design where turning bolt slides in an extension to the barrel, which is basically the same system as in turn bolt used to lock a door. No? So, muna yung example, ano eh. No? Then, self-loading rifles. No? Repeating firearms with the exception of lowest power weapons. M16 is a good example, ano eh. No, self-loading. Magazine. Ah, one sweep one. Automatic mo-load siya. Automatic mo-load. No? So that is called uh, self-loading. No? Self-loading or... Ang ato mag-unandan, di ba? Sa libro ni Dom de Rosario, automatic or semi-automatic. Sakto ba ko? Di ba? Naandan ninyo sa libro ni Domingo de Rosario, automatic or semi-automatic. No? Sa reference akong gigamit, ang iya mong gagamit is self-loading. No? Self-loading uh, rifles. Then, two types of self-loading rifle. So, short recoil design where the bolt and breech bolt are only locked together for about 
0.75 inches. No? At 0.75 uh, sa ni kuan ni nga kuan nga this kuan. No, of reward travel before unlocking. No, for long recall design in which the barrel and the bridge block are locked together for the full distance of recoil stroke. So meaning uh, what you could expect nga kanisya much more ni kanang kitaw na tog power sa imuhang ma-feel nimo si mulawas the moment you fire on this kaning nga klase. No? And these are self-loading. We have of course, so oh, tanawa ha. Muni ang kitaw og self-loading uh, and pump loading. Kani siya. Uh, usually for pump loading, that is for mga shotguns, di ba? Kita ni muna, shotguns usually. Ha? Then, pump action or slide action, also known or trombone action. These are firearm designs where the bridge block is attached by operating rods to a movable force. Balik lang. Ha? Ana. Ha? Pulling back. No? The fore end, the mechanism locking bridge block to barrel is released. So, muna siya. Then, of course, the lever type or the brake type katumputlon. So, bang yana. So, lagbala, balik. No? The fire and design where the breech mechanism is cycled by an external lever. No? The loading takes place by lever action of the firearm. No? So, brake type. Then, shotgun. Shoulder weapons designed to fire a number of pellets or shots. So, this is, as I have said, muna ang choking. Tanawa ang choking, ha? No? Wala man siya rifle, di ba? Di man siya rifled nga firearm. Tanawa ninyo ang choking. Maklaro ninyo, dili? Maklaro ka, sir. Maklaro, sir. Ang nasa shotgun, constriction of the muscle. End niya. So, tanawa ninyo, the more siya nga mo i-choke, the more nga magkagamay ang iyang sumbuhan, full choke. Muna gitaw, full choke. Tanawa ninyo, this is the distribution sa iyahang kuha niya, shots. No? Mas meaning, mas concentrated. No? The wider the choke, panalitan, kaning last niya portion, walay choking siya. Sa so, tanaw ni Mob, kuha kayo. No? Kanabang katag kayo ang distribution sa iyahang gitawag og shots. No? Katag kayo. That is the one with shotgun. No? So we also have shot, submachine guns. No? Fully automatic chambered for pistol caliber ammunitions. So example, Uzi. No? So say bala sa Uzi. O say bala sa Uzi. Isa na kita na dere. Say bala sa Uzi, 9 mm. 9 mm sir. Yes, 9 mm nga ammunition. 9 mm nga ammunition na siya. No? So, kung naka sa Israel, halos na ng tao dito na firearm. Imagine, Israel, halos na ng tao. Dili kayo na nakata silang crime rate, pero halos na ng tao dito na firearm. Ano man. Pariyaram sa Panzer, Ingram, sir. Ha? Pariyaram sa sa Ingram, sir. Ingram, Inimim, Japon, sir. Hmm. Ang sa Israel, manggod, Tanang tao dito na yung firearm kay both ha, babayag lalaki dito required to join the military. No? Nga naman, ang ilahang kontra nagpalibot tra nila. Tanang nga nasod nga nila tra nila. Libanon, tanan-tanan, puro na kontra nila. Kapag yung sila'y kontra, nasa sulod silang nasod. Kanang Palestine. No? Muna sa una, magsigig pa mumba ka wala naman. Murang nahinay na tungkol sa COVID. No? Muna dito, almost all household has have firearms. No? So that is for them to, to defend themselves whenever necessary. No? Machine guns, a type of weapon designed to propel or shoot automatically or semi-automatically more than one ammunition without manual reloading by a single pull of the trigger. So that is machine gun. Now we will proceed to the ammunitions. Mangingis ako guys ha. Kay murag gawas sa baba asang asang laing baba ka ihiun man. Mangingis ako kadali ha. Mangingis ako kadali.
Oke pa? Oke okay, lah okay, Oke okay, at least we started one o'clock man, di ba? As we kwan, as we promise, we started one o'clock. Okay. Naman may group chat no. Ikwan lang ko ninyo ha, later on pag kwan na to, kaya ako i-post dito. Na naman ko gigikwan para at least matestingan po ninyo ang platform. Ya. Yeah. Dali ra siya, makalingaw siya. Ingon pa sa mga estudyante, makalingaw siya. Mura lang nagduwa sa cellphone ba. Ang iyahang mechanism. No. Oh. Para at least matestingan po ninyo. Ah. Oh. Okay, for ammunition, say ammunition guys, we are actually considering a single unit of ammunition. When you say a single unit, unfired unit. No? Meaning it is it has still the four major components, which is, sa so four major components of an ammunition, the bullet, the shell, the primer, and the gun powder. No, for model small arms cartridge, this is the combination of the bullet, the propellant, puni ang gunpowder, the primer, and the cartridge case or shell in a single unit. So it refers to a loaded shell for rifle, musket, carbines, shotguns, revolvers, and pistols from which a bullet, ball, shot, shell, or other missiles may be fired by means of gunpowder or other explosive. So take note of this, ah, because this also defines firearms, no? Section eight seven seven revised administrative code. No? so this term also includes ammunition for air rifle, as mentioned elsewhere in this code. No, technically speaking, if you say an ammunition, it is a round of or a round of ammunition refers to a single live and fired cartridge comprising of those components. Uh, muna siya gitawag na to og ammunition. So ayog ingon nga uh, bullet, ang bullet is only part of the ammunition. Uh, it is only part of the com components sa ammunition. So the term is also applied to live blank and tear gas ammunitions. The primer is basically the means used for igniting the propellant. So, ammunition refers to a group of cartridge or to a single cartridge. Now, cartridge is a complete and fired unit consisting of bullet, primer, cartridge case, and gun powder. Okay? What are the parts? Okay, more than yung parts. We have the bullet or the projectile or other call it missile. Propelled through the barrel of a firearm by means of the expansion of hot gases force of gases caused by the burning of gunpowder. Now, the cartridge case or the shell is the tubular metallic container which holds the gunpowder, the primer cap, and the bullet. And of course, we have the so-called the gunpowder. So, gunpowder is a chemical mixture of chemicals which when ignited produce a very large quantity of gas. So, we have two types of gunpowder, di ba? Naatay gitawag og Single base. Smokeless. Gunpowder, gunpowder, gunpowder. Oh. Smokeless and black powder. Black powder. Diba? Oh, ang atong ginagamit ka ron, smokeless powder. Kana mong kong black powder god, sa unang, sa unang, pag, when, they, when they started to develop firearms, muna ilang gigamit. Yan, muna to sa unang, may yung kang mga sundalo sa unang, gikan sa gira, kaya yung kang gahago, yun, kaya nga nang kamuritsing man. Kaya kada pabuto nila, dagan magkikaso ilang firearm. Uh, because they're using black powder. No? And of course, the most kwanin, more recent no? uh, among the components is the primer. So, the means for igniting the propellant. So, it is contained in the metallic cup. No? A highly sensitive mixture of chemical compound which when hit or struck by the firing pin would ignite. So these are the parts of an ammunition. Tanaw ni mo, bisag pag ha, this is a kwani, this is for rifle. Uh, this is for rifle ammunition. Tanaw ni mo, of course, the shell, no, the primer, <coughs> center fire di siya, the powder and of course the bullet. Ha? Uh, 
So, general types of ammunition. Kani guys, katong last nga board exam, nigawas ni siya nga ikuan, kaning nga question. No? So, ano, dili dito, dili dami, damdam bullet dito, dili dito dami. No, dummy bullet is a replica of a genuine cartridge, a type of cartridge which is merely resembles or merely resembles the genuine. No, replica ramon din 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 dam dam day. Abi na kung dam dam. Then we also have the blank bullet, so a type of cartridge without a bullet. So usually, ginagamit niya on saman, o sa mga ceremony. Kanang na ay pinaka-common na ni, kanang kisamay doon, minteryo doon, doon, baga kayo doon balay, o diba doon dito sa bugo? Wala yung taga-bugo doon, wala yung taga-baga kayo doon? Hindi yan dyan sa lutse. Oo, kanang na ay ma, na ay kuan, kanang ni tikongkong, diba? Kanang na ay mo tikongkong, bay, sulod sa minteryo, diba? Kaya diba wala naman ang bagting sa simbahan, klang, klang, tikangkang, o tikongkong, raman na, klang, tikangkang, kasal, ang katong tikongkong, katong lubong. O, sa usually, sa military honor, kanang tikongkong nga kuan, they're using blank bullets, a blank ammunitions. No? So, wala na. It's, it's only the, kuan lang, kanang gitaw, gunpowder lang. For the sake of the ammunition, uh, for the sake of the ceremony. No? So, containing gunpowder that is designed to generate a loud noise to indicate firing. Usually used for ceremony. No? Then, kanin mo yung makamatay. Live ammunition. So, it has a complete no, component of an ammunition which could cause destruction. Now, what are the types of ammunition according to the location of primer? So, we have of course the pin fire which the ignition cap is concealed in the cartridge case. No? And as a pin resting katubang nai tungkoy tungkoy no the pin protrudes through the side of the case wala na ni obsolete na siya then of course we have the so called rim fire a cartridge in which the primer is located at the hollow rim of the case so it can be fired no hitting the rim or the rim cavity of the kwanato bala and of course the most common among them is the so-called the center fire. Uh, the type of cartridge in which the primer is located at the center of the base. So, muna siya. Uh, with regards to the ammunition. So, this one is the rim fire cartridge. Muna ang rim fire cartridge. Nadari ang iyahang priming mixture. Priming compound niya. Kani siya, muna ang pin fire cartridge. No? Imagine lang ani mo ni mga klase sa balang ang dukduko ni mo bato mo buto. Di ba? Imagine lang madukdukan ni bato, wala, buto. <coughs> This one is the center fire. No? Tanaw ni mo ang sa center fire. <coughs> Excuse. This is the kwan sa base niya. So may go ni siya karon, no? So magi diri sa flash hole lang iyahang ignition niya. No? Then, of course, we have the so-called cartridge case. The cartridge case, or the shell, refers to the shell and the primer and does not include the bullet. Now, what is the purpose of the shell or the cartridge case? No? It holds the bullet, the gunpowder, and the primer. Another thing, it serves as a waterproof, waterproof container for the gunpowder. No? So, muntos sa una, kailahang ang ilahang gunpowder sa una, nakapapil. Kakuan mga itong masundalo sa una, nga, umagbala, ila pang pangiton. Ano? Uman, ihuho. Humaghuho, sansanon. O sansanon to nila, ilahang kuan. No? Umag-imagine lang, umag-uwan ka, basa ang imong gunpowder. Di ba? Mabasa ang imuhang gunpowder. No? So, dili, maglisod ka, og pabuto. So, that is the basic one. Karon, because of the shell, it is covered from water. No? So, dili siya mabasa. No, kadali ah. Na may nag-message. Ah, okay, okay. No, so, unana ang, ang mechanism niya. Unana ang mechanism. 
So, it prevent the escape of gases to the rear. So, meaning, concentrated ang iyang kwa niya. So, it generates, it helps the bullet no, to be pushed out from the uh, kwa niya through the energy generated by the gunpowder. Now, what are the parts of a cartridge case? So, ang cartridge case, naapoy yung kuglingong parts. Now, this is the base of it. No? So, we have, of course, the rim. No? Sa naman tayo gitaw, gug semi rim or natay gitaw, grim type. So, naa siya groove. Usually, kanang groove, muna diya ang birahon sa extractor. No? We have, of course, the head, the body. No? Kaning body dali, guys. Remember, ha? When you are marking a, a shell, dili ka pwede dali sa base. Kaya nga naman, naa may markings dali as caused by the anang gitawag na to og firing pin. Dili ka pwede dali sa base kaya possibly it will bear some marks. O pwede yung ukuan magari. Huwag mong ganilain dali ka dali sa near the mouth. In this case, kuan man siya, bottleneck type man siya, you could write the Markings dere. Panalitan, imungalan. Pedro Pinduco. PP01. O nana. Ah, PP. That, that could possibly be the kuhani mo. Ah, so, pag markings di mo. Dili. Kung sa gito, ibang bawal gani. Magmark ka og evidence kani guys. Dili ka pwede mo gamit o. Kung sa nga mark. Magmark ka sa imuhang identification mark sa, sa imuhang evidence. O sa may dili pwede gamiton. Dili pwede mo gamit o XX. Amoro ba na idali ninyo? Kung ano yung stylus, XX. Ganong XX man? Ganong dili man pwede ang XX? Ganong dili pwede ang XX? Kay, that is common to, common mark mag na siya guys. No? That is a common mark. So, dili na siya pwede. So, imungalan, panalitan, okay. Imungalan is, uh, arikag, uh, Dan Frances Beles. So, DFV. Pwede na siya. DFV. Your initial yun. No? And then, ang sayo nga kuha nimo. No? That is a good kuha nimo. Anyway, naan na sa itong slide. Naan na sa itong slide. Okay? So, <coughs> cartridge case forms. So, natay gitaw ko, grimless bottleneck, semi-rim, no? rim tapered, no? and then we also have belted rimless. No? So, again, the parts of the kuan across, no? across, no? it is similar. Then, for the cases, shapes, we have, of course, straight case, no? Then, where the case diameter is approximately the same along its length, we have also the bottleneck, usually for rifle, where a wide-bodied case is just before the case mouth, reduced in diameter to that of the bullet. No? And then, we also have tapered case, no? where a wide base cartridge is gradually reduced in diameter along its length. Then, we have, of course, bullet so, ang bullet, guys, this is a very, this is one of the most important evidence, ha, with regards to this one, apart from shell. No? In marking of the bullet, guys, in a po, you have to be very extra careful. So, the part of the bullet, asa ni mo pwede ibutang imong markings? Panalitan ni mo, butang kag markings for identification purposes. Ari sa base, no? you just have to think, which part of that bullet or shell ang wala siya impressions left by the gun. At ito ni mo ibutang dito ang imong markings. So in this case, arin ni mo ibutang dito sa base. Arin ni mo ibutang sa base ang imong markings. O boss, no? or pwede dito in the nose, no? near the nose, kay kaning near the nose, the portion nga ni elongate siya, wala man ay markings. Ayun, never dito sa body yun. Because the body contains the markings of the uh, gun or the firearm. Now, bullets are hard projectiles propelled by a firearm, sling, or air gun, and is thermally made from metal. So, it derived from the term bull, uh, bullet, which roughly means little ball. French term. Huh? 
The caliber of the bullet refers to the diameter of the inside of the firearms barrel. So it is measured using sa may gamit na ni measurement niya, no? It is measured to the use of a caliber. So also matches the diameter of the bullet usually express a hundreds of an inch, 0.22 cal or in millimeters, 9 millimeter. Na pero dili ni siya kwan ha, dili ni siya equivalent ha, 22 o kwan ang equivalent aning atilisan bi kay basin mas kwan mo 5.56 Ano na siya? Muna siya equivalent niya. Ang equivalent sa point .22 is 5.56. No? Okay, general classification of bullets. Diwa ka klase. Natay gitawag og lead. Natay gitawag og jacketed. Ang may kang hardball, kani. No? Kani siyang jacketed. So, lead bullet is a type of bullet which are composed of lead or alloy. No? So, jacketed, a type of bullet consisting of regular lead or core coated with copper to prevent the lead from fouling or fouling the barrel and usually used in pistols and other high-powered firearms. No? So, makayong ka. Naani siya, coated. I-coat ni siya. No? From the iyang lead niya, it is coated with a more kanagitaw na itong harder nga type of metal. Okay, humok man ang lead. So, with regard to the shape, we have, of course, round nose. We also have hollow point. We have full metal jacket. And, of course, wad cutter. So, when you say round nose, end of the bullet is blunted for maximum penetration. No? Hollow point, a hole in the bullet creates more damage, exhibits penetration, and spreads or mushrooms on impact. Kani siya klase. No? Jacketed is soft lead surrounded by another metal, usually copper, that allows the bullet to penetrate a target more easily. Kadi muni siya ka mo pirat. No? Wad cutter, front of the bullet is flattened. Used exclusively as practice load, raise a hole in target paper which is visible by the shooter. No? So, with regards to the maximum effect of bullet on target, that is the type of bullets according to its effect on the target. We have, of course, a bull bullet, a type of bullet having soft cores inside a jacket and designed for use against personnel or general use. Then, armored piercing. From the term armored piercing, a type of bullet designed to siya, penetrate a steel armor. No? So, we also have explosive bullet or fragmentary no? contain a charge of explosive that detonates on impact usually limited to 20 millimeter and above no? then we also have incendiary so military bullet used to cause fire in a target generally designed for use by an aircraft armament to ignite fuel tanks then we also have tracer kanisyang tracer Munik ka itong mga balang, o, itira ni mo, especially during night time, visible siya. Ano man, magsiga man siya. No? These are the bullet capable of leaving a visible mark or traces while in flight giving the gunner a chance to see if it's spot while shooting and make adjustment in the event of a mess. No? So, kaya siya, makita ni mo, magsiga ni siya. While naglupad, magsiga. No? Then, other types, Blank bullets, so made of wax, paper, plastic, and other materials used to simulate live gunfire. Then we also have dum dum bullet, no, designed to expand on impact, increasing in diameter to limit penetration and or produce a larger diameter wound. Nigawas ni siya morag katung last ng board exam, if I remember it right, dum dum bullet, no, grenade launcher cartridge. No, are only encountered military uh, rifle calibers. No? So, the name indicates are designed for the discharge of a grenade from a normal service rifle. Then, we also have caseless ammunition. So, from the term caseless, no? bullet with a propellant form around bullet as a single solid piece and there is no cartridge case. Walay shell. No? Then, we also have tear gas cartridge. No? So, from the term tear gas cartridge, no, are the same as blank ammunition except they contain a small quantity of 
Alachimon Matori no, or Sterno Notatory substance which is either chlorocytopinol no, gas or another form of gas. Then we also have snap caps no, are for the practice of firing weapon without damaging the firing pin and the lock mechanism by firing it without a cartridge in its place. No? So that is for the so-called bullets. Now we will proceed to the gunpowder. For the gunpowder, as I have said, we have two things. We have the so-called uh, smokeless powder and the other one is uh, black powder. No? So when you say uh, gunpowder or propellant, no, wala man. It's a chemical or mixture of chemicals which when ignited produce a very large quantity of gas. So kana nga gas, muna siya mo kuan into pressure, mo develop into pressure, which then is uh, uh, developed to energy. No, muna siya, since it is confined in a container man, ang tendency niya, at to siya, mangita siya o way to exit. No? So that portion nga na ang bullet, no? that's the portion only, soft portion nga, pwede siya ma-remove. No? So that is where the gunpowder no, will uh, or the burning gunpowder got out from the gun. No, classification and composition. We have, of course, the black powder. Considered as the earliest form of gunpowder or propellant used in firearms. So, take note ha, ang iyang composition, no? na ay charcoal, which is 15%. Munang kaning nga mga klase sa, kaning klase sa gunpowder, muna siya tong mga gunpowder which after you fire no magkamuriching ang sundalo no kay nga naman asuman mura kag muning na to na mura kag nagdaog no after shooting ang iyahang smoke niya no is very much fun good then the other one is the so-called smokeless powder so from the term in itself smokeless meaning it generates less smoke no, wala ga pasabot nga wala gi smoke but it generates sm uh, less smoke as compared to black powder no, the term used for gunpowder used in modern ammunition it is considered as the most powerful propellants no? so what is the reason nga nung smokeless ya basically when it burns almost all of its constituents are combusted no, meaning nasunog. So, more reason nga nung less ang production of smoke. So, all the constituents are converted to energy. No, if that is the case. So, since all of the constituents are converted to energy, mura siya gasol. No, pag siga niya, kusog ang iyang siga. Kusog ang burning niya. So, the more the higher the kuanya, the burning rate niya, no, the higher also the rate of kanagitaw na tog uh, development of pressure no? so two main classes of smokeless powder we have of course a single base or gitawag og nitrocellulose no? and of course the so called double base or nitroglycerin as their major ingredients no? then of course we have the so-called the primer. So many gitawag og primer. Muni as I have said, mao ni siya ang this is the the invention or the innovation of firearms that really paves way for the development of the modern firearms run. No? Okay, through this primer, wala na dili na kayo hassle on the part of a soldier. Imagine sa una magbitbit kag pulbura, magbitbit kag mga bulitas, nya na pag yo kay sansa ni muhang firearm taas. No, kikinalaman na guys, sansanon magyud ni mo yun. No, nya at the same time, in case nga naay naay possibility mag-uwan, mas kuan ka mag sa tawag ani, maglisod ka og pabutok kay basa man ang imong gunpowder. No? But in this case, with the use of this primer, wala na, everything is covered. No, di na ka magkamuritching, you don't even touch the gunpowder. No, everything is in one component lang. You just have to load it and prepare it for firing. So the primer serves as the ignition component. No? 
It is used for igniting the propellant or the gunpowder. Take note, ha? This is composed of something which is very sensitive. Now, imagine lang, ang iya lang, in order to, in order to, to ignite it, pa, ana lang. Yan, malupyak lang ko na, dili ko na totally mabuslot. Meaning, hinerag yun ang iyahang pagkuhan sa firing pin. Nalupyak lang. No? Nga anong nisiga man siya. It's because, it is, uh, the, the material use, no? It's a very sensitive material. No? Gamay lang init, musiga siya. No? So, primer may be placed either in the rim of the case or at the center of the base in case of center fire. So, these are the composition. No? Kaniman ang, ang first nga composition na ni, kanil ilahang gigamit. And then, it develops into na na mga add-ons. No? So, with regards to the design of the primers, we have this. We have the burden type or the burden primer. Munikita ko, single, single flash hole type. Then the boxer primer or the double flash hole type. And of course, the battery cap system. No? So, the burden primer, take note of this, akan mga primer type, na ni siya, was designed in 1866 by Colonel Burden of the U.S. Army Ordnance Department. So, in the system, the anvil is actually part of the cartridge case. Uh, part siya sa cartridge case in the form of a small peg in the primer packet. So, tanawin mo ni, tanawin mo ang kwan, ha? Wrong spelling mo single, eh. Dali ako sa mga na. Single. Muna na ipik to, sige, yung text. No? So, tanawin mo ng bala niya, gamay rin na, muray rin na siya, tanawin mo ka nang sa shell, tanawin mo sa sulod, gamay rin kayo ng bangag, muray rin magyan o dagom. No? Muna ang iyang gitawag o kuha niya, flash hole niya. No? Single flash, meaning it is only one hole dito. Muna yung agian sa kayo gikan sa primer. No? Because they cap in itself naman sa obos. So pag ignite ato, siga siya, dito siya maagi. No? Which will cause the gunpowder to be ignited. No? Ang itsura na niya guys, una ni guys. Oh, muna siya ang gitawag na to o Ah, sa itong kanan eh. Burden type. Dara. Ano? Boxer ito, no? Burden. Da, burden. No? So, muna siya. Ito ba niya kuha? Burden. Okay. So, we have, of course, boxer type. No? The boxer type. So, yung paning, what? Adali ha? Ito tanaw ng design ha? The boxer type is the single flash. Single flash hole. The burden mo lagi. Double type ni siya. Double flash hole. No? Ang isa is the single type. Single kuhan. Kita na. Wala na design guys ha? Kay... Nasa yup ta. Okay? So, the burden type. Na siya kita ko. Double flash hole type. Oh, tanaw ni mo ang design, no? Oh, tanaw ni mo. Kani siya, muni mo usually makita ni mo sa lawom sa shell. Kani. No, kani siya, muni siya makita ni mo. No? Now, the boxer type or the single flash hole was developed by Colonel Boxer of the laboratory of the Royal Woolwich Arsenal in England. So, the anvil is a small bent disc of steel which fits into the cup making the primer completely self-contained. No? And of course, kaning the battery cap size or cap system consists of a plain cap with no anvil which fit into slightly larger inverted flank cap containing its own anvil. The flank cap provides a rigid support for the primer cap and the anvil. So, nani ang iyang itsura? No? This is the flash hole niya. Sana ko ni mo, mauro ko dani sa kaning sa, sa primer kwan. Uh, sa iyang boxer kwan, boxer type no? so nani ang iyang sistema sa kaning gitaw ko battery cap primer do you have questions? guys na mo yung na? wala sir naka, naka kwan mo na before naka agi mo na kanang gitaw na itong primer boxer burden type 
Wala, sir. Nag-discuss mo na, sir? Ako, sir, wala. Wala akong ka-encounter ng ako, sir. Ganun sa primary design, sir. Sir, wala pa. Wala mo good na sa katong Kadil Rosario good nga, nga book. No? Wala na sa Kadil Rosario. No, mostly, mga modern books na 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 siya. No, basta makita na ni mo, gamayin ka ng cup. Kaya pag mag, mag-load mo, ang buhat na na, tanggalon man itong iyahang katong cup, katong sa ubos, kanya, katong gamay, mungunto'y tanggalon. No, i-refill man ito siya kapil. Then, ana, ana man ang saluding. I-empty siya ba? Kung ang siya, ilisan, ana man ang sistema na. No? But this is a very important part of the kwan, kanang firearm kwan sa kanang gitawag na to og uh, ammunition design. Okay, mo man ay mo na siya gitawag na to ron. That paves way for the development of modern ammunition karon. No, kanang mga modern ammunition nga nung una na nakaron because of that percussion system. Now, imagine lang ganahan ka mo magpulis og magbitbit mo og uska uska kilong pulbura. Ya nakabutang rabo to sa una, gibutangan papil. Papil ba? Pag suko ni mo, imong pag-ako ng papil, iana. Oh, wala ilang sistema sa una. No? Pasalamat na lang ta, nga naanay na 4-in-1 no? nga design of the so-called kaning gitawag na to og percussion system. No? Pasalamat na lang ta. Tungod na ni, isa gito yung the father of percussion system gani? He's considered as the father of percussion system? Robert Pilsdorf, oh. ah. Alexander, si Alexander, Kwanza, Alexander John Forsett. Correct. Oh, Manan siya. He's the person responsible. Like, oh, like, uh, so on. Uh, muna yung gi-convert niya into one, tanan. Oh, he's actually because of the percussion system niya. Imagine na lang, magbitbit ka pusil nga na ipabilo. Ganahan ka. No? Nagtago-tago pa ka niya, nag-asoy yung pabilo. Di ba? So, dili siya o nananggit ka kuhan. Pero karon pagwapuhay nagpusil ana na sistema ngayon pa that is ikwana mura na siya that is a game changer no the the development of the percussion system is a game changer in regards to the ammunition no game changers yeah now we will proceed so firearms identification so forensic uh, forensic firearm examination are based on firearms identification Natay gitawag ani o principal. I I was I guess uh, I have not included it here. No? So or other ammunitions component as having been fired by or in a particular firearm. So natay ang ang principal is simple naman. And everything that comes in contact with the the barrel or the rifles, it is imprinted with the markings from the kana gitawag na to og uh, de barrel no so tanan nga balang lang moagi diha no tanan nga ba lang moagi diha sa barrel it is imprinted with the same impression so when you compare them all those bullet that pass through that barrel they bear the same impression no so how did this barrel created so, such an impression so that is actually a product of the a product of its manufacturing No, that is a product sa manufacturing. Resulta na sa iyang manufacturing process. So, the manufacturing process allows all these things. Muna na to. These are, kana naman kung gitaw na to, individual markings, guys. These are markings which could not be identified. No, dili na siya ma-identified sa dihang wala pag ang firearm. No, ma-identify lang ng gitaw individual characteristics after. No? After the firearm is manufactured no so when you say individual characteristics no una ni man pag the moment gihimo na ang kwan okay himo drilling process trimming process then gi cleaning siya no all those markings can have created dito sa sulod becomes a permanent marking no so that permanent marking no it will imprint to or it will come in contact with anything that passed through it Pagamit ni mo karon ana pa no tanan nga magi dito pa imprinted ato no it will be imprinted with those markings there no it will be imprinted it will be the, the markings of the gun will be imprinted there 
na across tanan nga gigamit mo dito makuha siya mo bitaw ng if ever mo pick up ka o ka ng firearm evidence you are not allowed to enter a pen or anything on the barrel di ba dili that's it, that is a no no in a case of gun dili pwede sudlan o pencil or bullpen or anything ang kanang gitaw na tog barrel of the firearm why it will cause oh it will cause or to destroy the markings inside or mo create na siya possibly na siya by reason of the insertion of those metal inside the barrel mo create na siya dito og iyang kauglingong marking no oh? so pag create karon sa iyang marking pag extract din mo og evidence karon lahi na no dili na siya exactly the same Kaya naman, sa ballistics biya, unlike fingerprint, nga fix biya. Makita ni mo, di ba? Ballistics, lahi. No? Sa firearm examination, mga God, nagsalig lang ka sa stations. Katong mga linya, gagmay ka na. Gagmay ka na nga linya. Kaya pag compare ni mo karon, no? i-juxtapose na ni mo. Usa man ang juxtapose. Usa man ang juxtapose. Nakagamit mo, comparison microscope, wala. Wala siya. Kaya saan man ang gitawag o juxtapose? Kaya saan ang juxtapose? Wala siya. Wala siya. Wala siya. Okay. Kaya ang juxtapose, kung saan man ang term? Kaya saan ang term ng juxtapose? Okay. Ang juxtapose, isa na ni. Dua kabuok ni mo ni siya nga. Dua kabuok ni mo ni siya nga. Dua kabuok ni mo nga. Dua kabuok ni mo nga. The question and the standard. Diba? Right is the standard. Left is the question. Ang imo ng buhat ito sa juxtapose, no? kita mo sa akong gichat, that's the spelling, ha? Ang imo hang pukan ka ron, you have to position it exactly the same way, the same manner. Kung imo nga na ang imong position, it should be the same manner. Nga, paglantaw ni mo, tanaw ni mo ng isa, mao iyang position, mao po ang iyang position dere. No? So, pag lang ito ni Mudri, makita ni mo, unana siya, there is Picas, unana. Muna siya gitawag o juxtapose. No? Kaya later on, if may establish na ni mo nga mo yung position, imo na siya karoon ni, sa, sa comparison microscope, imo na karoon siyang i, intermarriage. No? Kung saan mo nang gitawag o intermarriage. Okay? Di ba? Na kay juxtapose, gipositioning gi mo siya, you have to look at the evidence in exactly the same position. No? So, parehag yung position, good. Parehag yung siya position. Tanaw ni mo, uy, naman ang mura mag na ay point of similarities. Now, yung mong button ka ron, yung na siyang i-intermarriage. Pag intermarriage position, guys, that is the capability sa kanang katong kita ang comparison microscope na ang, ang left during evidence mo yung makita ni mo, ang right during mo yung makita ni mo. Pero, it is merged as one. Na-merge sila as one. Ang left iyaha, ang right iyaha. So, tanawin ni mo ang kanagitaw na itong stations, ang movement sa lines niya, if na siya gitaw kong continuity. No? Mura siya sumpay ba? So, meaning, kanagitaw kong stations niya nga nagsumpay siya, tanawin na ni mo mayo in details. I mo nang i-magnify, tanawin ni mo. Mau ba yun? Kaya this marking, is kanang stations nga nagninyalinya, mau na siya ay na-imprint sa barrel. No, tanaw ni mo diri ang left, ang right diri. Planto, mo man. Imo na pong i-change. Ang right na pud diri, ang left diri. Tanaw ni mo pa. Mao gid siya. No, so usually kwa na siya og picture. Ya muna imo tanaw mo ni basahon ni mo nga. Ana lang, muna sa ballistics. Sa fingerprint lahi. Kay ang kani ato ang manggong kwa na to, impressions permanent man gud siya. Di ba? Permanent. Pero sa firearm is different. Stations linya linya ra man makita ni mo. No? Tool marks bian siya. Tool mark identification bian siya. This is part of tool marks identification, whether we like it or not. No? So, is there a possibility nga masayop? Na, yun. Pusig, dakong posibilidad nga masayop. Bupito na, ang, ang uh, one yun, kanang gitaw na to, with regards to the examination of kanang police forensic science, it is advisable yun nga mugamit yun o kanang ACE B methodology. No? So, kanang analysis, tanaw ni mo ang basic characteristics niya. No? 
So when you say comparison, you have already tanaw, katong sa analysis tanaw ni mo characteristics comparison tanaw ni mo if it has or it bears the same uh, kanang gitaw na to characteristics. No? So ASB man, evaluate pag evaluate ni karon if naaba sila point of similarities or naaba siya gitaw og point of dissimilarities. <coughs> no? Out of it, you come up with your own conclusion. Di ba? Sa ano na to, Sa ace na to, Ang kadang B, dili kayo mo perform. Kisa may mo perform sa B. You let others do it. No? Muna yung mo second opinion ka. Ato ka sa imong kauban or ito sa imong superior ni mo, sir. Muna akong findings. So, ang imong findings, tanahon to niya. No? Based on the, the items that you presented, tanahon niya, or based on the characteristics of the evidence, tanahon, if mao ba? No, kay meaning og pareha mo pananaong duha, no, okay na siya, no. Mao ra pud dia akong examination. Okay. No. Kay if paglantaw imo ug na may sayop, so na mo ra lahi pud dia pa kuan, mo ra nai kuan. No, point of kanang gitawag og question. No, kay di man pwede nang nai doubt. Labi nang una na, dili pwede nang nai doubt, meaning if nai gitawag og point of dissimilarity imo gyud ang i-consider. The similarity meaning dili ka pareha. No? Kay lahi biya, gamay ra biya kay diperensya. No? So muna siya imo kuan karon. Tan-aw ni muna both sides if compare nimo kaning kaning left ug right, emerge siya ang left diri makita, ang right diri makita. Half half niya. Inter marriage position man siya. No? Ya balihon na pud nimo, tan-aw nimo ug mao bagya pud ang kanang gitaw continuity of stations. No? Okay? Para yun ta. So, we have of course individual characteristics. No? So, those traits or characteristics which are determinable only after the firearms no? are made or firearms making. Muna yung kita huwag individual characteristics. Muna yung una ko, dili na yung may bawa ni. No? Unless, naa na. No? Kaya mura ni siya, huwag ka ng kwan ba? Ah, uh, excuse. Ito man to? Lahay kwan? Ah, uh, okay. Lahay dahi. Layo pa. Okay? So, kanang gita huwag individual characteristics, these are unique sa iyaha. Sa iyaha lang ni mo makita. Wala ni sa uban nga firearm. No? So after din mo mabuhat ang firearm, diha na siya makita nimo, inaaday ni siya. No? Sa kanang gitawag na to og kanang class characteristics, guys. Okay, like for instance, wala pa lang nimo buhat ang firearm, kabalo na kadaan. No? Meaning to say, wala pa nimo, napas plano ang firearm, kabalo ka nga mao ni siya ang characteristics niya. So unsa may example niya na? Diameter. Caliber of firearm. O, oh, di ba? Wala pa ni mo gibuhat. Wala pa ka. Napas papel. Plano pa. Kabalo nga. Kanay mo gibuhat. 9mm ni siya. Or kanay siya is 45 caliber. No? The lands, the numbers of lands and grooves. So, wala pa na ni mo buhat. Ha? Kabalo na ka. Kanay siya 6 lands, 6 grooves. No? The width of the lands or the grooves. Ang gilap doon sa iyahang kwan. Lands or sa grooves niya. Identified na na. No, another thing, the twisting. No, whether it is left twist or right twist, no, right twist ang imo hang group ni mo. So identify na, no. Before pala ni mo gibuhat kabalo na kada na, no. So meaning, those are the things nga part of the plan. Pero pag resulta karon. That is the individual characteristics na katong unsa toy na himong resulta nga wala dito na appeal sa imkuan nga unique lang sa iyaha lang nimo makita that is individual characteristics. Do you get me? So yes sir. No. So meaning kaning class characteristics dai those properties or characteristics of a firearm which can be determined even before the manufacture of the gun. Sa so, wa ibot na na. No. They are common to a group No, na siya gito, common to a group of firearms of the same designs and specification. 
no? So, muna kita ko class. Ang individual, so are products of, kani o, oh, imperfection. Pag limpyo, wag ko makuha ni siya, or pag drill, no? wag kayo makuha. No? And those traits produce as a result of firearms usage. No, Mabitaw na yun nila, pag subago pa lang, kuha ng yun, subhanda ng hardball, kay para at least, makuha na siya, kung sa ihang, kuha ng yun. No? Capability at the same time. No? So, these are the class characteristics. The board diameter. No? Ascertain by measuring the distance between two opposite lands. No? Inside the bore of a firearm. No? Muna, ang katong gitawag na itong caliber. Caliber ni siya. No? Lands to lands, mo na siya. Then, the number of lands and the grooves. O oh, naman tayo, wala ni guys, oh. identifiable, tanaw ha? Depende sa brand sa imong firearm. Ano man yung, ato sa ikuan. Kaya murag nilampas ya. 20. Makita ninyo, Dile. Akong gi-reduce kay murag kuan siya. Makita ninyo? Guys? Kita ka, sir. O, oh, muni siya, o. Oh. Kani, o. Oh. Muni siya nga type. Muni ang brand, o. Oh. Stair type. No? Uh, four lands, four grooves. Right twisted group equal to lance. Ana man ang pagbasa ana. No? Stair type man eh. Ano nung stair type man eh? Ah, sayo. No? Then carbine type. Four lance, four grooves. Right twisted group. No? Two times wider than lance na siya. Oh, four lance group, right twisted. The group is two times wider than the Lance. No, Smith and Wilson. O, kani siya mo ni siya. Gitawag na to. O, class characteristics ni siya, guys. No? So, wala pa ni mo gibuhat. Eh, yung ka nga, okay. Uh, Smith and Wilson nga pusil. Okay? Five lands, five grooves, right hand, twisted. The width of the land is equal to the width of the grooves. O. Muna siya eh. Muna siya ay gatkuan niya, kana gitawag na to og characteristics niya. Class na siya ha, di na siya individual. No, meaning tanan nga firearm nga manufactured or nagput nag possess ani nga ngalan. No, pareha na siya og characteristics. No, pareha og characteristics. Ano man, ano man si kuan. Awala na day. No? So muna gitawag og class characteristics. Colt. May yung kanga Colt na firearm. Okay mo. Apo na siya. No? So, muna yung ihang kuha niya. Muna yung ihang class characteristics niya. Makita ni mo or type of rifling having six lands. No? And grooves. Left twist. No? Left twist. Six lands. Groove. Six lands and grooves. Left twisted. No? Groove. Twice. No? Wider than lands. O. Muna na siya. So, these are identifiable before pa ni mo gibuhat ang firearm. Before pa na ni mo gibuhat, gikonstruct ang firearm, na na-identify na ni mo. Winchester, okay. Six lands, six grooves, right twisted. Grooves three times wider than lands. O, ano lang siya? No? So, kani panalitan with regards to the riflings. O, naingung ko, di ba? Dili lang tanan. Kwa, na ay mga unani, o ay mga lahi-lahi nga klase nga riflings karon no muni mga modern no sa una pan gyud lands and grooves gyud no. so we have also the number of lands and the grooves so the number of lands and the grooves refers to the number of lands and grooves inside the barrel of a firearm no so the lands is the raised portion between the grooves in a rifle bore And the grooves are the depressed portion of the bore between the lands. Nakatong ipakita na ako ganiha. So, width of the lands the dip is dependent upon the bore diameter of the gun. Grooves, widths, and number. So, direction of twist. Now, the rippling inside. No, ano mo na? Either, huwag mo niyang bala ron. Ipanalitan mo niyang bala. Either, right ang iyang twist niya is ana ang kuha niya sa iyang direction going the re ana ana right twisted or left twisted no so makita ni mo two of course na po na sa gun 
No, saya ang kuha niya, replings niya. Pitch of replings. The pitch of replings is the measure of the twisting of the lens and grooves. It refers to the distance advanced by the replings in complete run to 360. So, saman, kuha niin kayo or dili kayo. No? Kaya mo nagdukul kayo ang kuha niya, pitch niya. No? And of course, the diff of the grooves. The grooves diff is measured from the twisting of the bore. So these are what you called as class characteristics. Mane ang gitaw na to class characteristics, guys. Na so rifflings, helical grooves known as rifflings are cut into bore of a barrel of a firearm during production to increase the accuracy of that firearm. When the gun is discharged, this groove causes the bullet to spin as it travels the length of the barrel and thus stabilizes the bullet during the flight. So at the same time, the expansion of the fired cartridge and the high pressure propelling the bullet through the bore of the barrel press and scrape the bullet against the rifling as it heads towards the muscle. No, so the fired bullet as a result, unsa ni mahitabo niya kaniya agi mo siya dito. Yan naman siya contact. Kusog biya kayo ng tuyo ka na. So, as a result, it will bear the negative impression of the groove in a rifled barrel. So, these marks are described by farm examiner as land and groove impression or land, lands and grooves. No? So, that is the kuha niya. Kadali ha? So we are all already done with this. So type of rifflings, manata. Mude ni mga types of rifflings diya. Then of course, kini. Oh, tanaw na to. Modern riffling types and designs. No, nanana yah polygroup, na conventional eight group, no polygonal riffling. Tadi na lingi na polygonal na siya. No, na with worth, with ratchet, no. There is Lancaster oval bore, no? So it helps, no? The bullet stabilize its flight on the air. Marks found on fired bullets. Unsa may makita ni mo sa fired bullets? Number one, unang unang lang ni mo simply lang, okay? As the bullet travels inside the barrel, what possibly could have had a contact with a bullet? So, katutanan, anything na eye contact with the bullet will cause an impression on the bullet. First, landmarks. These are marks or impression left of the fired bullet caused by its contact with the lens of the replings. No? With the lens of the replings. Bless you, palihog ko sa akong phone. Be. Adali sa guys ha. Asong phone? Wala dito rin. Ito dito. Nagalisa guys ha. Kung saan tanaw na kong uras. Okay. Di na ba itong mga tag ulaing chance? Kausara na ba ito siya mong kuhan? Basi niya kapisota. Ini... Mayroon o kasabanta kay maginin chick man, di man ta kasabot. Di ba? So, buka tawar, gaya punta. Delikado. Kasabanta, magbinisaya. Na muna ni Ron, katkot-kot na sa ulo, anak. Anyway, we will proceed with our kuha na to. Maginin chick man to siya mga saba. Okay ra kayo. Di man ta kasabot. Group marks. So, group marks, from the term itself, group marks. These are marks or impression left on a fart bullet caused by the Grooves of the barrel. So, katong ganiya, marks. So, mayroon ako, pag makita na niyong bullet, no, kanang fart bullet, ang landmarks niya, makita niyong maragasgas kayo. Ang groove marks, ane, makita niyong sa bullet, no, that is the portion karon nga smooth siya. Smooth. In between sa katong landmarks man. No? Then, we have the skid marks. These are marks imprinted on the bullet, usually caused by Forward movement of the bullet from the chamber to the barrel of the gun before it commences to rotate. Usually found on the bullets fired from revolvers. So, naigitaw skid marks. Pushing effect man niya. 
Then sweeping marks. Marks found on the bullets fired from a loose fitted barrel. Now where the rifflings are badly worn out. No, kanang wang wang ng akwan. No, wang wang uh, type of ikwan. I barrel. No, kay kana ganing kabalo mo guys. Overuse of the firearm. Sigi pabuto. Dili man amo yung kanga. Ang imong barrel sa firearm lifetime na na. Dili there will come a time ang imong firearm nimo ilisa nimo barrel. No, naana siya kada barrel naana siya maximum rounds niya nga pwede niya mapabuto ang firearm. Nalitan mo ingon na dito makapabuto ka og 4000 rounds. No? So gamay ra may 